Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm totally barefaced because I'm gonna do a foundation Fridays. And today I'm gonna review two, two foundations instead of one. Both are pretty weird foundations. So I wanted to put them to the test and see which one was better. For today I have the, the Balm Even Steven Whipped Foundation. And I also have the Tarte Cosmetics Double Duty Beauty Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. That's a mouthful. So for the Even Steven foundation, it is a whipped foundation. So it's not really a gel foundation like the hard one is. So they are kind of different, but the texture is pretty similar. So that's why I wanted to put them to the test side by side. And I have the Even Steven in the shade lighter than light, but I think this still is too dark for me. Um, the jar is pretty small compared to the Tarte one. Um, but in a minute, I will tell you guys everything about the foundations. As you can see, the tart one is definitely way bigger than the, the Balm one. So let me see. The Balm contains 13.4 ml, which is 0.45 fluid ounces. That is in here. And then the tart one is 30 ml, which is 1 fluid ounce. Okay, so I read through the description of the Even Steven one. This is really a whipped um, foundation that should be very, very pigmented and also feel very light on the skin. This one has eight different shades and I have the lightest shade, which is lighter than light. And the finish should be a soft matte. So this foundation from Tarte should be poreless, full coverage, lightweight, and they have 17 different shades. It is oil-free, plumping, and pore reducing. As always in my foundation Fridays, I use my own primer like I usually do. But today I'm priming with the Benefit Pore Professional on my T-zone. And then on the rest of my face, I'm using the Pore Professional matte rescue you guys know that I only use a beauty blender for my foundation so I'm not doing anything else today so for my right side I'm gonna use the the balm even Steven and then for my left side I'm gonna use the tart one you can see that they both are a souffle kind of consistency so both shades are gonna be too dark for me so I'm gonna correct that with my concealer so be aware that if I'm gonna apply my product that it is not the correct shade for me um, yeah that's the only thing I can say go hate me in the comments I don't have any other shades um, so I'm just gonna do it with whatever I have You can definitely see that the product is matte right away if you just blend it out it is totally matte but it does have i think it's more of a velvety finish but it's definitely instantly matte so it doesn't need any drying down reminds me of those maybelline dream touch foundations definitely looks like that luckily i'm wearing a high neck today because the shade definitely is not a really good match. Okay, so looking in the mirror, like on this side, it looks pretty good. But on like my cheek area, it is pretty splotchy. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more product and hopefully even it out. To be honest, it is not really my favorite. And the coverage, I wouldn't say it's full, it's definitely a medium because I can still see my freckles up here and then also still some stuff shining through over there. Maybe that is because I apply it with a beauty blender, but I only use a beauty blender so I'm not going to use it any differently than I usually would. I think somebody with a more oily skin will definitely enjoy this foundation. I think I'm more on the dry side for this foundation because a little bit heavy on my skin so now for this side i'm going to use the same beauty blender but i'm just going to get all of the product out of here and i'm just gonna dip in with my beauty blender in the lid oh this definitely is a different consistency it is really really sticky it smells it doesn't really have a distinctive smell it just smells like skincare shade wise this is definitely better i thought this one will, will be worse it looks pretty good
Okay, so this is the side. So you can definitely see that this side is way more dewy. I do prefer this side to be honest. The texture also is a little bit different because this one is more dewy. Um, whereas the bomb one is more of a matte finish. Also the tart one doesn't dry down immediately. And it does feel like water. It, it, it feels really, really fresh. I also think that it's a little bit more full coverage than the bomb one. I am going to apply a little bit more to the areas I need a little bit more coverage. Okay, so on this side, I feel like my skin looks really, really pretty. And then on this side, it looks... Compared to this side, it looks a little bit dry. It definitely is patchy. And also the color on this side is a little bit darker, but I can make it work because the undertone is pretty good. Let me know which side you prefer. Put a poll up here so you can vote on which side you like better. So this is the bomb, the matte one, the whipped, and this is Tarte, the hybrid gel foundation. So as usual, I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup and later on I'm gonna come back and tell you about my final thoughts. So I'm back with the rest of my makeup done. So I just grabbed my mirror so that I can really see my skin up close. And I can definitely see that I like this side better. I feel like this side is way more heavy and also the makeup was separating over here because I used the Tarte Shape Tape which is pretty dry and the foundation is pretty matte and dry too so it began to separate I could fix it with all of the products on top but it didn't look pretty at all also I think it looks way more cakey and clumpy on the side of my nose whereas this side looks really fresh and really nice and dewy so as for the foundations I definitely like the Tarte one better this foundation is a no-go for me, definitely. I don't really, really like it. Maybe you would like it better if you have oily skin, but for me, I just don't like it at all. And also, lighter than light is the lightest shade. It is definitely not light enough for me. So, this is a no for me. The Tarte side is really, really pretty. It is a very nice foundation. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel heavy. So this is definitely a very, very good foundation for me. I really, really want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and also let me know in the comments down below if you like this side, the Balm, even Steven, or this side, Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation. If you like this video, then thumbs up and I will put the playlist of Foundation Friday up in the screen. Also, I wanted to say that the last week of November, I'm gonna upload a video every single day. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe to my channel. Also put on the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I just want to say I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye!